Good morning. This is Ed Loftus. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I specialize in the care of patients with ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. And I wanted to talk to you today about an article that was recently published in the CCFA-sponsored journal, Inflammatory Bowel Diseases. And this article was looking at the role of proactive infliximab drug monitoring in patients that are started on infliximab. So infliximab is an anti-TNF biologic. It's been around for 15 or 16 years to treat Crohn's disease, and more recently for ulcerative colitis. It's a very effective drug, but it's a biologic, it's a protein. Your body's immune system can develop antibodies to this big protein molecule, and some people, even though they initially respond, can lose response over time. It turns out you can actually measure the levels of drug in the bloodstream and you can measure whether or not you've developed antibodies to the drug. And so we've used this assay in people who seem to be clinically losing response to the drug. So let's say somebody had been responding and then all of a sudden they're telling you, yeah, you know, six weeks after my last dose I start getting the symptoms of Crohn's disease again and the next two weeks are miserable until I get my next dose. So we've been, for the last several years, doing reactive uh, therapeutic drug monitoring where we'll check the drug level, the antibody level, make adjustments accordingly. So this paper was looking at a more proactive approach. Uh, the paper came from the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, and one of the members of their IBD group there had decided back in 2009 or so to start doing proactive monitoring. And so he had a group of about 48 patients where he proactively checked their drug levels regardless of how the patients were doing. So even if they were doing well clinically, he measured their levels. And then they had a control group of 78 other patients who either didn't have any drug monitoring or had a more reactive approach. So then they compared the outcomes. So the way this guy did it was when the drug level would come back um, detectable but less than 5, he would um, up the dose a small amount, maybe 50 milligrams or 100 milligrams per dose. If the drug level came back undetectable, he would go from 5 milligrams per kilogram body weight up to 7.5 milligrams per kilogram body weight. So he wasn't making huge adjustments in the dose. He wasn't just doubling the dose like we often do in clinical practice. And, in fact, if they had two levels that were higher than the therapeutic range, so over 10, he would actually start cutting back the dose a little bit. So it turned out of the 48 patients where he did this monitoring, um, he had to make adjustments in the vast majority of patients at some point. Um, initially, it was only about a third of the patients, and about a quarter of them he had to increase the dose, and actually in 10% he reduced the dose. But over time, the majority of patients had some adjustments made in their therapy. And it turned out that this actually resulted in patients staying on infliximab for a significantly longer period of time. And so you could say that staying on drug was for a, a proxy for doing well. Uh, because obviously if the patient wasn't doing well on the drug, the doctor would have switched to something else. So just to give you an idea, over the follow-up of the study, which was over several years, 10% um, of the patients in the proactive arm uh, stopped infliximab versus 31% in the standard treatment arm. So that proactive approach resulted in less people discontinuing infliximab. And if you had to put it in a Kaplan-Meier uh, framework, the five-year probability of staying on drug was like 86% if you were proactively monitored, whereas if you had either reactive monitoring or no monitoring, the chance that you would be on infliximab after five years was only about 50%. So it turns out that maybe we need to be a little bit more aggressive in therapeutic drug monitoring in our patients on infliximab and the other biologics where we have drug levels available. Thank you.